Here we are looking for pine sap, which is the first thing you have to do when you want to solder two electronic parts together. So here you see me looking out in the middle of the backyard for some pine trees that might have a little bit of sap on it. Once I find one, you can see that I use my knife to start breaking off pieces that can be used to melt with the solvent and then later turn into solder rosin. Here I am cutting off a few pieces of sap which appear to be a lot like amber. Mixing in just a little isopropanol or isopropyl alcohol with some of the pine sap makes a wonderful amber colored mixture that's perfect for soldering items together. Here you see it's pretty hard for me to be able to use some solder and connect these two upper components together without something to help sort of lubricate how these parts get connected together. And so I move down to some other components, but first I use a little bit of the solder rosin to try to make it easier for me to connect these two parts together. And you can see it's a lot easier for me to connect these two parts. And with just a little bit of pine tree sap, you can see we now have a successful connection between these two parts.